and that is reducing processing LMIs. <laughs> Hi beautiful people, welcome back to the Canada EFOB channel. My name is Wolo. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant based in New Brunswick, Canada. I used to be a Manitoba. A lot of people still do not know that I am now in New Brunswick. That's why I keep saying this in all of my videos. Yeah, and I apologize for disappearing on my subscribers. I was actually on a mini vacation and I was going to be uploading shots of my road trip, which I started along the line i had a lot of distractions all the videos i was just taking were not making any sense if you see the last shots that i did you could see that it was on landscape so i didn't position my camera well so that was what happens to the remaining um short videos i did i actually intended putting all of them in one long video clip so that you can see um the trip to prince edward island i also traveled from prince edward island to halifax and um i've been back since i was so tired i've not been able to upload the remaining part of my trip on this video please bear with me it has not been easy combining attending to my clients versus creating content and all of that i'm trying to juggle a lot of things okay thank you for your understanding so to all of my old subscribers thank you to my new subscribers please subscribe to this channel and give me the thumbs up it helps with the algorithm I want to go to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I know that you will help me get there okay so today's video you've already seen the title um, Canada is reducing processing LMIs yes you've seen the title and a publication came out today concerning the labor market impact assessment um, basically what they are saying is that any community that has 6% unemployment rate they will refuse to process um, low wage labor market impact assessment if you don't know what LMIA is LMIA is a document that the government of Canada gives to an employer who wants to hire somebody from outside Canada with that document you can now apply for work permit now we have both the LMIA work permit and the LMIA exempt work permit. I don't think this video will be able to accommodate that information. I just want to share with you the latest announcement. Probably if you're interested in knowing the difference between the two, LMIA and LMIA exempt, um, please indicate in the comment section so that I can create a video where I can explain in details what the difference is between LMIA and LMIA exempt type of work permit. For this video, the announcement just came in and it means that they are trying to reduce the number of temporary foreign workers that will come into canada under work permit except for some critical sectors and some years back during covid i did a video and i said anything that has to do with agriculture construction and healthcare. these three sectors they are always sectors that Canada will need people for. So even if they reduce LMIA or they stop LMIA, these sectors will always need people because there is demand for this group of people. So if your occupation is in the construction sector, please continue looking for work. If your occupation is in the healthcare sector, continue looking for work. If your occupation is in the agriculture sector, continue looking for work. If your occupation is none of these sectors, what you can do is to pivot and then you can use the experience to look for work but of course you know it's not easy to get a job i'm the one telling you so anybody that tells you it's easy to get a job in canada it's not easy it's not easy to get a job in canada okay so that's the announcement i will be putting the details on the screen of this announcement so that you are aware that if anybody is telling you they can look for work for you in canada and you don't fall into this category of people please just know that the person is deceiving you I feel that a lot of people are now aware that it's not as easy as it seems to get a job and uh, people are no longer getting scammed with job offers from Canada. I feel it's my, it's my thoughts. I don't know. There are some people who do not still know, but I feel that people are now much more aware that you cannot easily get a job from outside Canada. So, um, yeah, this is the information I said I was going to share. Please pardon me. I'll be posting the remaining part of my trip on the shots. Pardon me. I I know you will pardon me. Of course you will pardon me. So I'll be posting the remaining part of my trip on shots and then I'll put the long form video of my trip as well um, during this week so that you can see 
how Prince Edward Island is like and how Halifax is like. Halifax is a very beautiful city um, in Nova Scotia. Halifax is very, very beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Happy people, the true of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are, from far and wide we stand on God. Oh, Happy people, the true of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are. From far and wide we stand on God Our home and our native in God we will trust We the glow in that we will see the rise Oh Canada, oh Canada, oh Oh Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada come together Oh Canada, oh Canada, oh Canada